Hi there, thanks for watching the Nico boys. I've just got back from my morning jog. It took me 100 calls to wake up Michael. We're here at the South Dock Marina. And we're going to, we have a very special guest today, Keita Sato, and we're going to be filleting fish. We're going to learn how to scale it the Japanese way, fillet it the Japanese way, and we're going to eat it the Japanese way. So let's meet him. Let's get there. Hi. Welcome. Hello. Keita. Hey. Hey. How's it going? Hey. So this is Keita Sato. Keita, around 20 years ago, left Japan, a very well-known sushi chef in Japan, came to the UK, um, not only in search of sushi, but is also really into his music and he's a great DJ as well. But he's a master of sushi, one of the best sushi chefs in London. Okay, so I got amazing fish from uh, Scotland, which is salmon. Uh, Excellent. And when people are buying the fish at home, what's the quality points they can look for? Okay, first of all, uh, we need to check the eyes, which is very black. Yeah. And then uh, we need to check the, uh, these parts, which is... The gills. Gills. Oh, right. And uh, uh, has to be very red and then very fresh color. And do you want to show us how to take the scales off the Japanese way? Okay, it's called skibiki. Uh, it's, uh, uh, we take off the just scale off uh, with a knife, uh, because if we use the scaler, uh, the meat will be uh, not really good. Can you use any knife for this? Uh, especially I use a yanagi knife, which is a very uh, long knife. This is uh, good for scaled up uh, salmon. Wow, that's really different to the uh, English way of taking the scales off. Amazing. Normally we have um, a handle with a kind mm -hmm. of grip on it, yeah. and we just rub it against the opposite way the skin goes, and there the scales go, and it just comes off. Wow. You need to uh, kind of slide the knife and then take off the scale. Beautiful. You can make a there belt out of that if you want to. <laughs> I mean, look at all those scales that are off. So, indicator, what are the next steps? Okay, uh, I'm gonna thread actually, and then uh, from stomach, I'm gonna cut. Like that. But, okay, like that. There you go. Then, bottom. Then I'm gonna tie along. So we're starting from the tail end first, and that's yeah. an interesting technique. Do you normally go from the top? Okay. I normally cut the, <coughs> the belly side first, from halfway from the belly and towards the tail. Mm -hmm. Yes. Slightly open, just like this. this. So you cut through the back up to the center bone, right? Mm -hmm. Then, then just you lift hold it. the tail off. Then to grab the meat off. Oh yeah. And then eh? take the uh, bone off, which is in the middle. Excellent. I love salmon. Really noisy out here. You can hear all the birds and all the wind, can't you? Sorry about all the birds. Hope nothing comes on our salmon, actually. Classic <laughs> <laughs> London location. Police cars, aeroplanes, babies. There we go. Like that. Chop it off. Okay. Seagulls. There you go. Beautiful. Okay, Fantastic. so the bone off. So, yeah. Excellent. So that's how you take the two fillets off. Mm -hmm. And then? And then? Uh, Take that tail off. 
Yeah. Mm. This is how you'd cut it in a sushi bar to prep the sushi bar. So that's why you take the tail off like that. Mm -hmm. And then you cut around the fin. Yep. Yep. Cut half. Okay, so this is up here. It's so windy out here. Crazy. <laughs> At least the fish is going to be cold and fresh. <laughs> There you go. Yep. So I put this on here. Okay. Uh, so you cut it in half. Mm -hmm. And then I use the Yanagi knife. Okay. So what are you doing now? Trying to remove uh, the, the very, very part, yeah. Yep. So you go under the rib cage mm -hmm. and cut towards the belly. Yes. Wow. Like that. Then take off the it off. Yes. Is this for sushi though? Or sushi and uh, sashimi? Yes, this back, back part I normally use for the uh, sashimi. And then the uh, belly part I use for nigiri. Yep. Got that. Okay. Like this. Then I have to uh, take off the bone off. I use uh, tweezers. Do you think people at home, if they don't have these, uh, some of the ladies have, what are they called? <laughs> Eyebrow tweezers? Yeah, they okay. can use those, Kato? Or? Uh, I think so. You think <laughs> so? It's not. If they're sterilized? It has to be antibacterial. Type. Okay. Great, so the back's finished there. Mm -hmm. And should we move that to one side and show us how to do anything with this tail piece? Okay. It's always one way to cut. Otherwise, if you go like this, uh, there is a line. So I need to take the slowly to cut the belly skin off. Okay. Like that. So this is like a normal sort of piece of fish you'd have at home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then. It's like salmon. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I cut the uh, middle of the parts. Same way. It's a little bit chewy. Take off the belly bone off. Good. Oh. So you take that middle mm -hmm. bit out. Yeah. Then I normally use this part for the sashimi and I use for this part for nigiri. Okay, uh, that's it. So that's how we uh, how we fill it in Japanese way. <coughs> Thank you very much. Excellent. Really Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Well done. I'm gonna go and jump in the Thames now and go for a swim. <laughs> <laughs> I think we grab some and have some sashimi first. Yeah.